making this super easy and delicious homemade bread. What you're going to need is two thirds cup sugar, one and a half tablespoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one fourth cup oil, six cups of flour, and two cups of warm water. First, add the sugar and the yeast into the warm water. Stir it well and let it sit for five minutes until it's foaming. Put your yeast mixture into a mixing bowl, then add the oil and salt. Now we're gonna put it in our mixer and add in one cup of flour at a time. Stir each cup in until it's well blended, then add the next cup of flour. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Now take some extra flour and just sprinkle it onto a surface in front of you. Let's get some bread. Let's get the bread. <laughs> okay, oh man, it's so big. Bread, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over the top of it, just so it's not going to be sticky. And then start coming in on all sides, kneading it until it's not very sticky. So once you can touch it without it being really super sticky, you're going to knead it this way and turn it and knead it this way. I feel like that's kind of an old man's face. And lots of wrinkles and chub. <laughs> Once the dough is all smooth, kind of like this, and elastic -y, now you're going to just take it, set it aside, and spray a big bowl with some spray pan. So make sure to spray all the way up to the top of the bowl so that it's not going to stick anywhere when it raises really high. And now take it and put it in. Once it's in, just flip it over so that it's got oil on the top and the bottom. So now what you're going to need is a damp towel that you can place over the top. Now I'm just going to put it in a warm place in the kitchen. Allow it to sit for about an hour until it's doubled in size. Ooh, and now guess what I get to do? I get to punch it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> now I'm just going to take it out and put it on my floured surface. And I'm going to cut it in half. Set this one aside. I'm going to spray my pans. I'm going to roll out my dough until it's about that thick. Now I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it and pat it and mark it with the pan. I'm going to pinch the ends right here, like that, and fold them under. And now put it in my pan. Now I'm just going to put this on a surface to raise again for about 20 more minutes and cover it with my towel. Are you ready for the unveiling? Ooh, pretty! So we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 for a half an hour. To know that they're done, you're gonna tap the top, and if it's crusty, then it's ready. I'm taking it out of the pan and putting it on a cooling rack because if you leave it in the pan, it will sweat. So that was surprisingly easy, and it's done! It's done! I might make this more often. And it tastes really, really good too. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, you can watch my latest Pins and Things video, or you can watch my family videos right here. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. We will see you guys next time.